So some of you may have seen this little pump, air pump, on some of our projects. It's a, another opportunity to show what we do to ensure the long-term quality of a project. This is a zero threshold or curbless entry. And although in many cases we do this after the fact, in this particular one, as we showed you in another video, this was already recessed down so that we could slope the tile from this, this high point of the floor, just go right down into it. But what I want to show you today particularly has to do with ensuring that the water does not go into the walls ever. And the first step in ensuring you have a waterproof shower has to do with what you see right there. There's a liner that is one piece. This is a one piece vinyl liner. It's called a PVC liner. And it also has, as you see right here, a little hose sticking out of it. And there is a valve stem on that hose because it is connected to a ball. So it, it has a, a inflatable rubber ball in the end of it that allows you to put it into the drain and to see that this does not leak. When you fill it up with water, there's an indicator mark on the side or a measurement taken of the exact height of this water. Then 24 hours is allowed to go by before you measure it again and see the height of this water. Two pictures are taken, one before and one after. We keep that on our records so that we know that this is not allowing any moisture to come through the, through the, uh, the PVC liner. And how would that happen? Well, somebody could step on it. There could be a nail on it that got traveled in, that got on somebody's foot. So we keep everybody away from it, and then we check it to make sure. And then right after it's been checked, the tile setter starts doing his work in here to make sure that it does not get damaged, and he protects it from then on. But this is very, very essential part of it. If your contractor really cares about making sure that not even a pinhole leak is going on because a lot of it will go down into the drain but eventually it will get into the walls and create moisture issues so if your contractor really cares about that he's going to do a, a water test on the shower pan as you can see it is sealed right here this is where it's sealed this drain is two part and we're going to show you the other part of a drain in another video but but this drain right here is the first level there is another drain that goes up higher where most of the water comes in through the top. But anything that gets through the shower pan, the, the tile and the mud bed that goes on top of this, anything that gets through it goes into here. And then the higher drain is actually up a little higher where the majority of the water goes. But we need to make sure since water migrates and condensation occurs behind tile, we need to make sure that this is catching water and not allowing it to go out in any way possible. So this is one of the careful steps that we go through at KM Builders to make sure that you will never have moisture in your walls. And then of course there are many other steps that go on to make a waterproof tile shower and we'll show you that in other detailed videos.